Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. He's amazing. He's a wonderful father. He's strong. He works out. We know he's not one of the six that was found alive. We found that out a few hours ago. Emotions run so high as family members wait for news about their loved ones after a lift boat capsized near Port Fushan. Tonight, we hear from the family of the crane operator on board as they try to keep hope alive. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Katie Moore. Six people, as she mentioned, have been rescued safely. One person has died, and 12 people are still unaccounted for after a lift boat capsized. It happened during yesterday's heavy storms where the wind gusts likely hit triple digits. We have team coverage, live team coverage with Meg Barris talking to family members of one person who was on that boat. Erica Ferrando also talked to a captain who was on another boat during the same storm. But first, we begin with Paul Murphy tonight with the latest from the U.S. Coast Guard's search for those who are still missing tonight. Paul? We're giving it all we got. That's how the Coast Guard sector commander in New Orleans describes the ongoing search and rescue effort for 12 missing crew members from the Sea Corps Power. Tuesday, the commercial platform vessel capsized in the Gulf of Mexico, about seven miles south of Port Fouchon. Whenever we engage, the Coast Guard engages in a search and rescue effort, we are hopeful. A mariner posted this video on Facebook of the capsized vessel. The Seacorp power overturned on its starboard side, partially submerged and grounded in approximately 55 feet of water. The search involves at least four Coast Guard vessels, four private ones, and Coast Guard airplanes based in Corpus Christi and Mobile. A Coast Guard helicopter also was being used. We are saturating the area with available resources uh, to assist in the rescue mission. The Sea Corps power capsized during a violent rainstorm, which included 80 to 90 mile per hour winds and seven to 10 foot seas. We don't know the degree to which that contributed to what happened, but we do know those are challenging conditions to be out in the maritime environment, is what we can say with, with fidelity. As of Wednesday afternoon, the Coast Guard found one crew member dead, pulled six survivors out of the water, and was still looking for 12 others. There's also the possibility some crew members remain on the vessel. We don't know for certain right now, but that's something that we're looking into and as the investigation unfolds, we're trying to figure that information out. But it is a possibility right now. We are now being told that the Sea Corps power was headed to a location about 40 miles east of Venice in the Gulf of Mexico when it capsized. At the Coast Guard headquarters in Algiers, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.